sitting on the top, so I don't know what's happening here. But, you want to see what's going on? Yeah. Where are you? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, and thank you so much for all our wonderful subscribers out there. Thanks for tuning into our channel. And if you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. And please click on the bell down below as well so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. So, today's video is going to be about knowing your hair porosity. We're going to be talking a little bit about hair porosity and also doing a little bit of test okay so if you're interested just sit down and get yourself prepared because we're going to be knowing our hair porosity today so first of all what is hair porosity hair porosity is how well your hair is able to absorb moisture and hold moisture so for most people it is determined by genetics it is very important for you to know your hair porosity so that you can know the kind of product that will be right for your hair our hair grows half an inch every month okay but you might not be retaining length okay because the hands of the hair might be breaking off if you're not using the right product on your hair if you're not doing the right thing if you don't know your hair porosity you will not know the kind of product that is good for your so hair i've been through this in the past it took me a long time you know to figure out what my hair porosity is so which actually delayed my growth because i was using the wrong product on my hair but as soon as i figure out my hair porosity my hair began to do really well and i gave it what it needs and i began to care for it really well you see that is why it's so important for you to know your hair porosity so that you know what your hair actually needs for it to grow for it to strive really well how do you know your hair porosity there are two types of tests the first one is getting a bowl of water and dipping your hair right into it. second one is the slip and slide test so the one we're going to be doing today is going to be the water test if you're doing the water test you want to make sure that your hair freshly washed you haven't applied any conditioner it's freshly washed with the shampoo and before doing that you want to make sure that there is no oil that there is no product on your hair you to make sure that your hair is nice and clean okay so it doesn't give you the wrong information get a bowl of water and dip your hair into it if your hair goes straight down which means you've got high porosity hair and if your hair comes right to the top is a low porosity hair and if your hair is at the middle you've got normal porosity hair okay so any hair that goes straight down we believe that it's chemically damaged why some people are born with high porosity hair okay i've got a daughter i've never applied any chemical on her hair but she's got high porosity hair some people are born that way some people are just you know they've damaged their hair through chemical or if your hair floats to the top which means you've got low porosity hair and your hair is just tight the highly porous hair is just opened, which means moisture goes in easily, which is good. But the disadvantage is that moisture comes out easily. So that kind of hair, you want to make sure you're moisturizing regularly for you to see growth. Okay, that's highly porous hair. But if your hair is just so tight, it's so tight, which means you've got low porosity hair, which means it's difficult for moisture to get into your hair. But once moisture is able to get into your hair, it retains the moisture and your hair grows well. That is why you see you see a lot of people with low porosity hair their hair grows really well okay so the normal porosity which means moisture is able to go in easily and is able to retain moisture easily which we believe is the best okay is the best of all hair type if you've got a normal porosity that's if your hair stays at the middle of the water okay. if you want to know your hair porosity let's do the test together get a glass bowl of water and just get one strand of your hair make sure your hair is freshly washed your hair is nice and clean if it's no if it's not clean just get it out and try to rinse it out you know just try to wash it a little bit don't let it escape try to wash it a little bit get a bowl of water and dip it into it if you're doing this you know the kind of product that your hair needs then you can begin to figure out the kind of product what your hair really loves and what your hair doesn't like you need to focus on health of your hair more than the length of your hair the length will come later on but you have to focus on the health of your hair first and later on it's going to strive your hair will start growing but it's very important for your hair to be very very healthy it is very important for you to know your hair porosity so you can know what to do to your hair what to feed your hair with so if you're interested in this video get a glass cup of water and let's do the test together see you later gotcha. guys this is my hair in the water and it's just right on top but well, you know like i told you you have to stay you have to wait for like four minutes to see what it does 
so we don't know what it's gonna do but right now it's still at the top <laughs> <laughs> so right now my hair is just at the top seated on the top so i don't know what's happening here so we're just gonna wait for four minutes to see what it does and then we'll be right back to see exactly what it's going to do So guys, we've waited for more than four minutes and it's more than 10 minutes now. My hair is just at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. That's my hair there. It's just at the bottom of the water, which means I've got high porosity hair. So that's my hair sitting there. That's it. That's it there. <laughs> so I've always known that I've got high porosity hair, so I can't be surprised. <laughs> so that's my hair there. So guys, that's just it about the porosity thing. It's very important for you to know the, your hair porosity so you can know the right product to use on your hair to be able to see growth or length. So that is just that about this video. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and do your test and comment down below what your hair porosity is and let us know. So thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye.